Welcome everyone, this is Master's Joke, also Master's Joke 75 on Instagram. So welcome to episode 3 of Raiders of the Loft action figures. So just one box today, and it's just, um, well, there's, the reason I'm doing one box is because there's just so much stuff in one box, and I'd, I'd just be here all day. So uh, it's Doctor Who again, and um, this, I mean, this, isn't, this is not a box that I... Um, that I've not seen for for years. I do kind of um, pop into this box from time to time, but it's basically just a load of uh, Doctor Who figures. And, and there's not just one. There's quite a few um, boxes of Doctor Who figures, Daleks, but loads of carded stuff that I still need to get down. So um, yeah, I thought I'd make a start with this. So so I don't I don't know exactly what's in here, but I thought if I um if I put it to one side. And then we have a, we'll have a look and see, uh, see what I've got. So, yeah, I mean, some of it, some of it is modern stuff, I think. But um, so we've got, we've got the old, uh, the old host, which is, I, f I think it's a really beautiful figure. I really like it. The only thing is with the wings. Whenever you see these at like a car boot sale. <laughs> They've always got no wings because if they fall over, they just snap off. So that is a little design fault uh, with this particular figure. Um, so yeah, so this one, so I got I got this with a Kylie set, and it wasn't that long ago. Probably I think it was last year at the Enfield Pageant. I think I paid twenty pound for the Kylie box set, and literally I'd only opened it for like it'd only been out of the box two minutes and this guy here he um he, f he fell over and his wing came straight off but luckily i glued it on not it's not a bad it's not a bad job there actually so i'm um, quite happy with that but yeah you've got to be careful with these guys so i'm gonna i'm gonna put him just there and obviously he's got his uh he's got his host brother there as well. I love them because they remind me of um, they remind me of uh, what was that? What was that episode? Um, Robots of Death. And we got uh, we got Davros there, which I think is a great figure. I love the detail on his little uh, dashboard or whatever you call it. That's a really really good figure. I think he came from the, uh, was it that B&M 2 pack from a few years ago with Peter Capaldi. So that's a lovely figure as well. I mean, I see people have these all on display, but I just haven't got the room. And you've got your clockwork droid. That, I, I love these figures because I love the way the heads, the heads come off. Although I think the head's a little bit too small. It's a really, really nice figure. And then I've got his brother as well. And then it, I think it came, there was a purple version as well, which is the uh, the one that's worth a bit of money, but I never got around to getting that one. And then we've got acrylatane, which, <laughs> which again, if you look back, it's not the best special effect in the world, but it was good for the time, 2000 and, was it 2006? Uh, and he's, he's all in one piece. I think I've got his wings. I think I've got his wings packed here somewhere. Yeah, so I've, got, so I've got his wings all... Uh, Here, so lovely, lovely detailing on the wings, and they just clip in, clip on the back there. I think is that the right way? So that, so that is a really good figure. The only thing is, it's not as, it's not like fragile like the like the host robot. 
So I mean, if you, you know, it's not gonna break, it would break off if you're not careful, but it's, it's got more flexibility than the uh, host robot. So definitely if they ever uh, re-release the host robots, like for a Christmas, a Christmas set, which I think they should do, because it's a great figure, it's a beautiful figure. Uh, definitely I need to do something with those um, those wings. I need to have something a little bit more flexible. But that's a really nice figure. And then he he had a brother. If I remember, yeah, he has. He's got a. a it was a different variant. And then he broke him. So uh, you've got like the orange variant here. So I've got his. Where's his wings? Yeah, so they've got different different detailing on them as well because uh, the grey one is a bit more um, kind of veiny. So yeah, that's a nice, that is a nice touch that they've made them completely different. Right, so I think I've I think I've got his uh, wings on properly. Pretty sure I have, but he's he's not. So I've not seen him. I've not set him up for for. Oh, must be a good 10, 15 years. He's a decent figure. Right. So now we've got. So I've got the old battered canine. So that's a really good figure. Is it? Because I know I had um, got a couple actually. But I think, I can't remember. I think these ones are exactly the same. But I think I had some remote control ones. So I don't know if these are remote control. I'll have to look into it. But they're really, really nice figures. I really love them and the weathering on them as well. So canine is definitely a figure that needs re-releasing. I think I think his little does this bit come off? I'm sure the side I'm sure the side of it comes off, but I can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember how it does. Did you pop that? I can't remember. Then they're, they're really really decent little figure that is the old canine. And then you've got Cassandra <laughs> trampoline face. And again, she she was a great character. Played by was it Zoe? Was it Zoe Wanamaker? I think. But yeah, it's a real fun. Fun character, and then um, I got her. I got bef so this is before, and I got after, <laughs> which is a joke, really. But I got this. I got the after one. I think from Woolworths for a pound when they were closing down. So I couldn't say no to that. But it wasn't a figure I was going to buy. I mean, look at it. It's a dead Cassandra, but it does look good. If you've got both of them, it does look good. And. Uh, there's raw resource. I stopped buying Doctor Who figures probably, what was it, um, coming, in, coming into the 10s when Matt Smith took over. I just stopped buying Doctor Who figures really. So, so Rory would have come from a B&M free pack. But he is a good figure. And then I've got a nude there. Now, I can't remember where this suit come from. I can't remember. G good figure, but I can't remember where I got him from. Whether he, whether he was on card or he was in a pack. And we've got another rude here, which I think is exactly the same sculpt. 
uh, missing his ball, but um, I've got it. I've got it tucked away safely inside the box. Talons of Wen Chiang, one of my favourite Doctor Who episodes. And again, this is what this is a B and M free pack, but a good figure. And then this is the, uh, I can't remember what it's called, but it was from that, was it from Father's Day, the Christopher Eccleston Father's Day episode. It's a really, really nice figure. I've taken the batteries out because obviously it's in storage, but it, come, it came with a stand, and if you press the uh, button on the back there, his belly would... Um, would kind of light up. It's a really, really nice figure. Such great detail. And it just shows you what, um, it just shows you what character options were doing back in the, uh, back in the early days. Yeah, it's because it's got the translucent plastic at the front there and it just all lit up. Really, really nice uh, sculpt on there. Um, yeah, love it. Absolutely love it. But then you, you never, <laughs> Never hear it, hear from these guys again. But look at but look at the detail on the face. Beautiful figure. I'm sure I've got the stand in there as well, so I'll have a look for that. I'm not gonna put him, put him to one side. Then we've got the fifth doctor. Which, I don't know, is he from a B&M set? Probably. He's got dirty... I think he's from that Cyberman set. With the, uh, you know, the Cyberman set with no Cybermen in. <laughs> Earthshock. And, um, I, I don't know, I think he might be from the... Uh, is it the, the 13 Doctors box set? Toys R Us exclusive, I think. I can't remember. And then you've got the Mox here. And he was sold out everywhere. And I ended up, I know you, I know he ended up being in a, you could get him in a box set, but he came from, on card, from Hamley's. And that was, yeah, that was on my birthday. <laughs> went to Hamley's and uh, went for a night. You know, you know the cafe upstairs in Hamley's in London? Um, went up there and there was this guy sat in the corner of the uh, cafe with his kid and I thought I thought why why is he why is he dressed up like Liam Gallagher? What 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 is he doing? And then I realised it was Liam Gallagher. And he, he kept looking at me. And I was looking at him thinking why are you dressed up like Liam Gallagher? Then I realised it was him. So um because I, I love Oasis and I would have loved to have gone up to him but I wouldn't have done because he was with his he was with his son. I think he was with Lennon so I just left it. I left him to it. I mean, and I, I'd expect, you know, <laughs> obviously I'm, a, you know, quite famous now with uh, <laughs> with all my YouTube videos, which are which are daily, may I add. Um, but yeah, I'd, if he were if he was on his own, I would have gone up to him. But because he had his son with him, I'd, I'd, I left him to it because it's, you know, it's a day out with his son. They're buying toys, so you know, but that's a nice story. <laughs> but yeah, there's the mocks. So he was more expensive in Hamleys, but... And I think that's why they had so many Doctor Who figures in there, because they were so expensive. But I needed the mocks. So that's a great figure. Right, so let's see who else we've got. So we've got Cassandra... I can't remember the guy's name. Cassandra's friend. Uh, I can't remember his name, but he was from... Uh, what was it? I can't even remember what the episode was called. He's, but what I like about the uh, the actual figure is the detailing. So there's just so much detailing all over the actual figure with the, the dots on his um, skin and arms. 
and even the buttons down the back of his uh, the back of his uh, shirt. So, yeah, I mean, I I really hope that um, with RT, RTD back and um, giving so much access to character options and encouraging you know the figures to to be made and the sonic screwdrivers and the toys that I think I've got a good feeling I think character options will be you know will be making fantastic stuff I mean they make really good stuff I love the stuff that they make for B&M but I, I'm hoping that they'll be back on top of their game like they were back in the uh, back in the noughties and the tens I've got a good feeling I'm very I'm very positive about this new series so can't remember his name. Let me know what his name is in the comments below. And then, uh, de talking of detailed figures, oh, I, can't, <laughs> I can't remember. Was this the, uh, I, was the, was this the episode with, oh, I don't know. I remember the guy was in Casualty. <laughs> but look at the detail on there. He's got like red eyes. And he's got the, de look, he's got the, Detailing on his hands as well. I mean, that is a that is a class figure. I mean, it's not really a, because I because I didn't really like the character, or well, <laughs> obviously, and I'm obviously not a massive fan of the um, episode because I don't even know what it's called. Um, I really, I've 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 got to rewatch. I'm more of a classic Doctor Who fan. You probably <laughs> you can probably tell. By now, but uh, I must rewatch the David Tennant episodes. But it's a really, really good figure. I mean, I'm not, I'm not scoring these. I'm just getting them out of the boxes. But if I was scoring, this would be a ten out of ten figure because it's proper quality. I mean, look at that. And then we've got. Now she would have come out of a, um, a f would, it, would it be a free pack? No, I can't remember. She must have come out of a free pack, surely. But a, but a lovely, lovely um, sculpt. The hair on the, you know, the actual um, hair sculpt is amazing. That is a really nice figure. I love, I love her, her boots. quality figure and, and, and also like it was a new sculpt so yeah I mean character do make some fantastic action figures what else we got yeah so this is this is one of those Cybermen guys from the B&M set who guard the uh, guard the bomb the cyber bomb There's one of the uh, Rose Tylers, one of the originals with Rose on the back. Whereas it should have, it should have been. Was it Punky Fish? Punky, yeah, Punky Fish is the is the actual um, hoodie that she was wearing. But yeah, I, I think she, I think she came out of that Dalek. Was it like a Dalek set I had with remote control Daleks? Oh, and there's another. See, this one might have been the Dalek one because her hair is so blonde on this. But yeah, I mean, I know, I know there's there's hardly any articulation, but if I remember, AD said that when he um, designed these figures for uh, series one. They didn't realise they were going to make a like an action figure line, so it was just I think to go with the Dalek sets, I think. But yes, yeah, it's, it's a decent enough figure. And then we've got look at that, a canine key ring. So that I think that came out of I think I might have got that for Christmas from that would have been like Marks and Spencers, I think they were selling them like Daleks. Well, they were TARDIS. I can't know. I think it was just Daleks and Canine. That's that's pretty nice. That is. Is it Marks? I think it's Marks and Spencers. Let's see if there's any 
details on there. That's a lovely little little uh, keyring there, and then you've got ah uh, this guy. So this was that. Uh, <laughs> Well, what episode? This was the episode with the vampires. And again, look, I mean, look at the quality of the figure. It's a great figure. Look at the detailing, look at the paint applications on his cape. It's, it's a fantastic figure. Uh, but that, that's it. Character options, they had that, um, they were able to produce um, loads of different figures. And you kind of think, if things had gone, gone well, they may have produced... The whole line. I mean, this isn't this isn't a figure that I would have um, chosen from this episode, but it's just another example of what character options can do. So, so it's a great figure, great paint applications, and I imagine it would have been quite expensive to produce from a toy maker's point of view. But um, yeah, I would have chosen someone <laughs> someone better from the episode. But yeah, great figure. You can't I mean, you can't fault it at all. Oh, and again, this was that Matt Smith episode. I can't remember what his name was, but you know, um, you know, the, yeah, the one Karen from Coronation Street. Uh, really, really done well, but not not a figure that I'm particularly bothered about, really. But done well. Really, really nice paint applications. Look, he's a stubble. A figure that I, c I can never see character options ever re-releasing again. But it's, it's a good figure. It's a really, really good figure. There we go, Matt Smith with a beard. It's quite a decent figure. So I didn't, yeah, as I said, I didn't really buy many um, figures from the Matt Smith era. Just the odd few. There's another Matt Smith. Dalek Sec. So this was a figure that really excited me. I, I, I loved it. I, I thought the, that episode, I thought it was great. I thought, I, I thought it was a lovely twist on the Daleks, you know, um, actually designing the Empire State Building, Daleks in Manhattan. Lovely, um, lovely detailing on there. And I love his shoes as well. <laughs> really, really good figure. I wish they'd made um, some of those Dalek guns, you know, for, for the humans. That would have been nice, have a Dalek gun. Yeah, really, really good figure. Professor Yana, love this figure. What a master. It's really, really done well. Really, really nice. Very, um, it's got a very pale com um, complexion, very much like um, very much like the boy from space. That's a lovely figure, David Jacobi, and such great detail. And you can even see um, the little strap on the back of his uh, waistcoat. Really, really nice. And look at the detailing on this, like a Roman centurion. Look at that. I mean, it's just, it's just an amazing figure. But another figure that I, I can never see character options ever, ever re-releasing re again. But it's a really, really lovely sculpt on there. It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful figure. I mean, look at the, uh, the sculpt on the cape. Just, it's just a wonderful figure. And then you've got Prisoner Zero. I think he was from a he was from a B and M box set. 
And again, I wasn't buying the B&M box sets either. I probably got this really cheap in the sale. Just happened to see it. I think I only really got back into action figures during, uh, during the pandemic because there was nothing else to do. There's the 10th Doctor. So yeah, I do pop back into this box now and again just to get some figures when, I, when I'm doing photos for Instagram. But yeah, he's a good figure. That's a really good one. Bradley Walsh. So he's uh, he's from that free pack. I actually um, I met Bradley Walsh once. We were talking about Doctor Who, and um, apparently his favourite episode. Is the chase. A couple more figures from the uh, from that free pack. I, I do think Yaz looks really good. Because again, these were new sculpts, so they did. So character did a good job. Tom Baker from Terror of the Zygons. That's again. That's from that from a free pack. But it's a really nice figure. Tenth Doctor in glasses and his blue suit. Tenth Doctor in space suit. So yeah, that is. I, I do like this figure. It's got. It's got his little um. Little wristwatch on there, but the detailing is brilliant. And I think he comes with the lift, so I think the lift's in the box as well. So that's another one of those cyber guards, robots. My one and only Perry from that box set. Yeah, I do think her arms are a little bit long. But lovely, lovely application, lovely paint applications on her, her blouse. So they, they did a, they did a really good job. Just, just yeah, just the arms are just slightly too long. And then you've got the ninth Doctor, and I think that's from one of those Dalek box sets, with the remote control Daleks. Or it might it might have been a Cyberman. I can't remember. I'd have to look it up. Captain Jack. Decent figure. Remember buying that back in the day. I think I've got one on card as well. Romana one. It's a, it's a decent enough uh, figure. I love the pink jacket, and that's from a box set. I think last time I saw these, they were selling them for three pounds per box in B and M. So the so the so the action figure sets just don't do as well as the Daleks and the Tardis. There's Amelia Pond, again from a, a B and M free pack. It's a nice figure. Then you've got these guys, and I think, um, well, I think they were from Amy Pond's second episode. Was it the Beast Below? And that's that. I can't remember what the ship was called. Yeah, that was something about what, again. I've not really watched watched them, <laughs> watched rewatched them. 
Um, I'm sure it was a beast below. I might be wrong. And is he from the same episode? I can't remember. The Demon Headmaster. So he, yeah, a lot of these figures I haven't seen for ages. Um, great, um, great sculpts. Because, I mean, if you look at this guy, and then he's got the, the other guy's face on the back, so you can twist him. It's a shame his hood doesn't go up. It's a great figure. And he seems to have the same body sculpt as the demon headmaster. Again, I, c I can never see these figures ever being re-released, but they're great. Really, really um, good figures by character. Really, really good. So I think that's, I think that's it now, isn't it? So, oh, there's the stand. That's the stand for my, uh, I don't even know what the creature's called, from Father's Day. There's my little TARDIS tin. I got in one of those little Doctor Who kids magazines. That's where I keep all my weapons. So I've got all the weapons and accessories in there. So. Is that, I think that's Matt, is that Matt Smith's old head in there, I think. Yeah, I think so. And then the last thing is the, uh, is the lift, which again will never be re-released. But it's a lovely, it's a lovely toy. And what have I got in there? So I've got, yeah, more weapons. The Titanic and a couple more, a couple more canines in there. So just a few bits and pieces. Is that smaller? I think that's a smaller canine actually. Let's have a look. Oh yes, it does pop off. So I think that is a, I think that is a normal canine, that, like normal figure size. And I think the bigger ones are remote control. So yeah, I think that's what, yeah, slightly bigger. So I think what that, that's what that's all about. Has he got the rest of his bits in there? That, no, I can't see it. Oh yeah, there he is. So yes, yeah, so, I mean that's that's a lovely little touch because I remember the remote control had something similar, the, the big remote control one. Maybe the little remote control one's side panel doesn't come off. So he's nice, and then you've got the uh, the un the unweathered canine as well. But yeah, I do love canine. It's a great figure. But yeah, I think that's it. I mean, that, that's, uh, that's basically everything. So yeah, so that, that, is the, uh, that is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> it did go, did go on a bit, but I wanted to go through every single uh, figure in there. But yeah, there's still so much more up in the loft I need to go through. I'm, re I'm really looking forward to seeing those uh, carded figures from the uh, from the noughties. I think I've got quite a few up there. But yeah, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, it lets me know you care, but it also helps the channel. And I'll see you, um, <laughs> well, for episode four of Raiders of the Loft action figures, um, <laughs> whenever that will be. So yeah, I'll see you in the next one.